Welcome to a video on learning Twine. In this video I'm going to cover Story JavaScript. The Story JavaScript can be accessed when looking at the Story Map view by going down the Story menu and then choosing the first top option, Edit Story JavaScript. The JavaScript, like what the description says, will be run immediately when the story is open in a web browser. In this example I have some code here that looks to see if Windows Setup exists. If it does, it uses it. If it does not, or it sets it to an empty object. This is the recommended way to write code that may be transferred between different story formats. Each of the major story formats handles JavaScript in a slightly different way and has different expectations on the author or developer on how JavaScript might be used. In Harlow, for example, it is expected that users will not write their own JavaScript and won't use JavaScript with the story format. They can, but it does not exist in the documentation, nor is it encouraged. In Sugarcube and Snowman, on the other hand, it is highly encouraged and with Snowman expected that the user will write their own JavaScript and use it with those story formats. Something to keep in mind between the different story formats then is if you want extended JavaScript or any JavaScript to be added to a story to extend functionality, needing to be aware of how those story formats view and handle JavaScript is important to make a decision between what story format will be chosen for that work. Coming back to this example, because Sugarcube creates the Windows Setup object, we can look for it if we're using Sugarcube or if we're using any other story format like Snowman for example, we can go ahead and create it. In this case, we're always using it and it's then consistent across story formats. In the next section of code, we are setting a property on setup to be a function with its content calling the browser alert with a content string. This is a browser alert. Not terribly complex, but it shows an example here of creating a global object that can be accessed across all passages, adding a property show alert that is in a function that can be called with the content browser alert that will show consistently across all story formats as well as across all browsers. Closing this, we can look at the content of the passage Sugarcube the beginning. Opening this, we see it has three lines. It is using the macro script in Sugarcube. Script is a number of different ways of using JavaScript in Sugarcube. Consulting the documentation can help you with making decisions about how to integrate JavaScript in Sugarcube depending on how you may want to use it. The script macro allows us to run arbitrary JavaScript, that is we can put anything within that and it will be run when the passage is shown. In this case, we have the function setup show alert that then will be run within the script macro. Playing the story, we can see that in action. We see a browser alert with the text, this is a browser alert, helpfully telling us that this is a browser alert. Notice, of course, that the passage isn't finished being shown here. If we click OK, we see the passage is finished. Closing this, we can then move from Sugarcube to Snowman. Clicking on the snowman, the beginning passage, I can change the passage options to start story here, moving the rocket icon from one to another, and then play the story, or before that in fact, changing the story format to snowman, coming down to story format, changing it to snowman, playing it, and we see the same thing. In this case, as we mentioned, it's now compatible across story formats using Windows Setup as an example of how to do that. We can close this browser alert and just like before, see the rest of the content. Looking at the content of Snowman the beginning, we see the use of the underscore template system that Snowman uses to run arbitrary JavaScript. Just like in Sugarcube, we can use this covered within the Snowman documentation of how to run JavaScript within a passage just like we used the script macro in Sugarcube the beginning. Both of these are examples of how to run arbitrary JavaScript within Sugarcube and within Snowman using its different functionality, using 
the script macro in Sugarcube as just one example of how to run JavaScript within that story format and within Snowman using the underscore template system. In both cases, it's calling a function setup change alert that was established on a global object that was defined in the story JavaScript. We change the story JavaScript when, when looking at the story map view, coming down to the story menu, and choosing the first top option, Edit Story JavaScript, where new JavaScript was added that was run immediately when the story was run before the passages were shown that was then able to be accessed from those passages afterwards. This has been an example of how to use Story JavaScript across two of the built-in formats, Sugarcube and Snowman, in Twine 2. As was mentioned, Harlow does not expect, and it is even not recommended, to use JavaScript with that story format. However, Sugarcube and Snowman expect and both welcome JavaScript usage. And so changing the code, adding something to story JavaScript, is an expectation, or at least is a welcomed addition to, those, to using those two, those two story formats. Thanks for watching.